Good morning, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of daily prayer and song. Whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you joined us this morning. We are also inviting you to visit our website at stpconference.info, and we also would like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference by texting the letters SDPC to the number 84576. This will automatically sign you up for messages from us. We promise to never sell or give your information away. And if you know anyone without access to the internet or without a smartphone, please let them know that they can listen to this service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing 909-318-7011. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Jim. Second. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our prayer call this morning. We pray that you are blessed and that this finds you well. I am Reverend Jamar A. Boyd II. We want to inform you of a great partnership that is at work and at hand between the Sam Dubit Proctor Conference and the Black Church Pack. You can go to rocks.online slash vote to check your voter registration status as well as to register to vote. Also, we want you to join us tonight for a virtual concert on rocks.online. You can register now. That began at 5.30 p.m. We promise you, you will be blessed by this tremendous concert that will kickstart our initiative to get out the vote in this 2020 election. As we open the, today's prayer call, we want you to be led by these words that will guide us as we prepare to be blessed by today's guest, musician, and prayer warrior. God, we welcome your commands, receive your charge, and embrace your consumption. Let your glory fill this, your temple, that it may fill us, your vessels, flowing continually with living water. May we not be dormant vessels, but instruments of continuous harmony, embodying and exuding sounds of triumph and victory, declaring today and with every new day, this will be the best day of my life. This is a day of passion and persistence, a day of purpose and promise, a day of prosperity and provision. And we shall say, for God will live, for God will die until the day of Jesus Christ's return. And now we'll be guided in the words and song of our guest, prayer warrior and musician, Mr. Harold Chip Johnson. He's a Southside Chicago-based native who began his music aspirations at the Trinity United Church of Christ in 1968, he began undergraduate studies in music performance at Fisk University, where he toured for three years with the internationally acclaimed Fisk Jubilee Singers. Under the direction of Professor Matthew Kennedy, he completed his Bachelor of Arts in Music Performance at Roosevelt University in Chicago and received a Master's of Education from DePaul University in 1999. From the Master's, from this, he went on to Vander Cook College of Music in July 2007, he received his master's degree in music, choral conducting, and the following year, 2008, earned a certificate of advanced studies in curriculum and administration from Na National Lewis University, where he is also completing his dissertation in educational leadership and administration. He has served as minister of music, assistant director of music, and music consultant at four major churches in the Chicagoland area, where his last was at the Apostolic Church of God, under the leadership of the late Bishop Arthur M. Brazier. This anointed minister of music began teaching in the Chicago public schools in 1994 and became assistant principals of an elementary school and then founding director of Southland College Prep Charter High School in two different Chicagoland suburbs. In 2012, he returned to the Chicago public schools as deputy chief of schools and chief of schools in, and is currently serving as chief officer for the Office of Family and Community Engagement in Education, Phase 2, where he manages the Office of Local School Council Relations, the Face Management Team, the Office of Faith-Based Initiatives, the Community Action Councils, the Volunteer Department, and the Parent Programs across the district. This morning, 
We will be led in worship through the ministry of music and ministry of prayer by Mr. Harold Chip Johnson. Of your prayer. 
presence, Lord. We your temple. We give you everything. Oh, arise, rise from your rest and be blessed by our praise as your glory now fills this place fills this place as your presence lord now fills this place oh, rise rise and be blessed rise from your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your as your glory, Lord, now fills this place. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We know that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the time of trouble, Lord, we know that you will hide me. You will hide me in your pavilion, Lord, safe from harm. No weapon formed against me will prosper. In the secret of your tabernacle, Lord, you shall hide me. Yes, you will. You shall set me up on a rock, the foundation of the Lord. And now my head will be lifted up to you. Lifted up above my enemies all around about me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of praise. I will praise you with my whole heart, Lord. I will praise you. Yes, I will sing. I will sing. I will sing praises unto you, Lord. Praises unto you, Lord. Yes, I will sing praises to you. Thank you, Father, for this indwelling of the Holy Spirit this morning. And we come offering praise to you, Lord, thanking you, praising you, giving you glory, shouting hallelujah, and thank yous all over the place. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, Lord, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, thank you, Je Jehovah Jireh, my provider. We thank you, God. 
For this indwelling of the Holy Spirit this morning, we give praise and honor and glory. For Sawabana this morning, we thank you in Jesus' name for all of those who have ears on. Let them hear what the Lord is saying. We thank you, God, that you will whisper into the ears of those that are on this call this morning. Letting them know that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? Who shall I be afraid? We thank you, God, for all of the matchless gifts and grace that you have provided for us this morning. And as we come to you seeking you in prayer, we ask that you would just bound us together. Well, you said a three-string cord is not easily broken. We have many here that are on the line, on the Zoom call, on the YouTube call, on the Facebook line. But we, most of all, we have Jesus on the main line this morning. And we thank you for being our God, being our provider. We thank you, God, for waking us up this morning, the first day of September. Lord, you've kept us sheltered up, locked up, tied up, bondaged up in our homes, in our offices, in places where we could not go. But God, you have given us the liberty and the strength to enjoy you in this space. You have given us time to really settle in and to lean upon you, lean upon your word, where your word has been a light unto our path. You have given us the light of salvation, Lord. You have given us everything that we have needed to move forth in this time and space. And we thank you, God, that we come against anything that will hinder us from the praises of God. We ask that you would just forgive us of our sins, God, whatever we may have done, whether seen or unseen, whether spoken or unspoken, we ask, God, that you would just come in the room and forgive us, God, of our sins, that you would cleanse us, create in us a new heart, renew a right spirit within us, Lord, cast away all things, that would impede us to prevent us on our path to liberty and to freedom. We thank you, God, and we come in prayer for all of those who have been stricken with illness, God, for those who are dealing with infirmities that they just cannot shake free from. We ask, God, that you would give them the spirit of joy, the spirit of determination to know that, yea, I may be in shackles, yea, I may not be able to flex everything that I have. But the joy that is inside of me, the joy that is in my soul, continues to run rampant with praise and adoration for all that you have done for me. I give you praise, God, for you said in your word, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the Lord, the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainteth not, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. God, you, he gives power to the faint and to them that hath no might. He increases their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and utterly fallen. But you said that all of those who wait upon you, God, we shall renew our strength. We shall mount with wings as eagles. We shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. We thank you, God, for that word that continues to lock us into our path, to move us forward in the determination of serving you with our whole heart. We ask God that you would bless each and every person that has been stricken with COVID-19, that you would continue to place your hands upon them, those that are in hospitals, those that are on ventilators, those that are recovering. Lord, we ask that you would just place your hands on those that are dealing with any other kind of sickness, that if you be your will, that they would be healed on this side. But if not, God, you give them the freedom to know that there is joy waiting for them on the other side. We thank you, God for the movements that are taking place, for the Black Lives Matter movement. We thank you, God, that we can call the names all the way past Emmett Till and all the way up to Jacob. We thank you, God, that we can call all of those names. But Father, I wanna call the names of those that we don't holler and shout for. I wanna call the names of my students who have been gunned down and shot and killed and nobody says anything. I want you to lift up the family of the recent Michael Johnson who was just murdered on the West Side. I want you to pray for my neighbor around the block who was just shot in the side yesterday. God, I want you to pray for all of the major cities, touch each and every mayor, touch each, each and every governor. Touch God, the person that sits in the seat of the White House that is called the president. We ask that you would just touch him too, God, is bless him to be a, a rational thinker. Bless him to be 
be be protected and 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 and, and cause to to think a little differently. God, we just ask that you would bless them for that is our charge to pray for the leaders of our government. You said the government shall be upon his shoulder. And Father, we thank you that you have all things for everything works together for the good of those that love God and those who are called according to his purpose in Christ Jesus. So we would not faint, Lord. We will continue to be not be weary, but through love and, and salvation and edification, we will continue to call upon the Lord. We will not be weary in well-doing, God. We will not. We will stand and having therefore stand doing all that we can do to stand through all that we are going through today. We ask God that you would bless each and every person that is listening today. And we ask that you would just listen to the prayers of them, God, that are talking. They hear me, but there's things that they want to say to you. In this moment in space, God, we give time for them to just call upon your name, to usher in the Holy Spirit that they may hear your voice, that they may know that you are there with them, that we hear the voice and the praise of Jesus Christ. Oh, the glory of your presence, Lord. We ask God that you would bless each and every educational system today. Bless those parents that don't know how to get their children on computers. Bless them that have to work and kind of figure out how they're going to train and teach their children at home. We ask every blessing and anointing on every superintendent, God, on every educational district, that as we are in this space, that our children would be protected, that they would be edified, that they would continue to learn, that they would not be sacrificed to the streets but God, that they would be free and that they would be knowledgeable because of the teacher that sits on the other side of that computer, because of the principal that does diligence to make sure that the teachers are teaching the right thing. We ask God and we cover each and every teacher in this nation. Bless them as we get ready to move into new school years, God. Protect the children, feed the children, allow them to learn, allow them to know that they are not by themselves. We come against violence in every major city. We ask that you would just cover the blood, put the blood post on every major city in this nation. Give us the praise, honor, and glory to continue to pray for those that despitefully use us. But yet God, in our, in our space, we would continue to know that you would never leave us nor forsake us. For you said that I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. For all of my help comes from the Lord. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy keeper upon my right hand, upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. He will preserve thy soul. Even forevermore, my hell, all of my hell, my hell, all of my hell come from the Lord. Yes, it does. Oh, the Lord is thy keep. The Lord is thy shade. Upon thy right hand. Upon thy right hand. Oh, the sun shall not smoke by day. Nor the moon by night. He shall preserve our soul, 
even forevermore. For our help and my help, all of our help come from the Lord. All of our help come from the Lord. All of our help come from the Lord, I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all you've done, you've done for me. Blessing and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. I just want to praise you forever and ever. And ever for all you've done, you've done for me. Blessing and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me and you. Uh, go out, praise the Lord today, and let it not be a mistake, but let it be intentional as God gives you the breath to move forward in all of your aspirations, in all of your dreams, in all of your goals, and in all of your prayers. May God bless you today. If ever there was a time to register and to vote, the time is now. The Black Church Pack has created a tool that has everything you need to help enable you to vote, to check your registration, to request an absentee ballot, and any other things that you might need. Visit www.rocks.online slash vote. Our country needs you to vote. Go ahead and register today. Join us tonight. Black Church Rocks virtual concert and souls to the polls kickoff. Good morning again, and we pray that you have been blessed thus far by what has transpired in this morning's prayer call. Thank you again to Mr. Chip Johnson for the powerful music ministry, prayer, and guidance that has enabled us to start this day with the divine guidance of Jesus Christ. We pray that you would join us tonight again with the Black Church Pack. Go to rocks.online to register for tonight's virtual concert as we kickstart our Get Out to Vote uh, work with the Black Church Pack. Again, that starts at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, please register at, at rocks.online slash vote to check your voter registration status and to participate in this great initiative. We also want you to remember that you can support the Sandwich Proctor Con Conference by giving and sending a donation to our website, sdpconference.info slash invet.r-contribute, as well as on Givelify, searching the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference. We will be grateful for whatever gifts and contributions that you send this way that enables the work of the Proctor Conference to continue. And maybe you make this your church home. Maybe this is the place where you 
contribute your benevolence and your offering, we would be, again, continually grateful for your support and contributions. As we prepare to end today's prayer call, I want to lead us or leave us with this guiding thought as we look at our world, our current human con condition, as well as the presumed visit that our president will make to Kenosha, Wisconsin today. Jeremiah says these words, they have also healed the herd of my people slightly, saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. The reality is this, to be black in America is to know violence, to be brown in America is to know death, to be a Negro in America is to know propaganda and the illusion of what has never been. Mm. Therefore, one could argue the, the chaotic state of our human condition, riddled with a global health pandemic, death and violence, economic uncertainty, and unnecessary suffering still leaves us with great potential to see the impressive handiwork of Jehovah through the intuitive workings of melanin hued creation amid supremacy. Is it possible or plausible to say that peace in this nation and this world won't occur until the sword is widely applied and its blade readily sharpened by all who decry justice in the name of freedom? A freedom not of exclusivity, but one of divine inclusivity where all of God's children abide, attain, experience, and rest in the death and life of Jesus Christ as we live fully through the Holy Spirit's guide. May that thought, may that question, may that inquiry guide you through this day. May God bless you and have a tremendous day.